Talk to us a little bit about that and being able to, you know, go into hostile territory and do something that a lot of people can do, uh, especially the way you did it. You know, it was it was a good experience. Um, the Brazilians were absolutely wonderful. They were completely nice, completely welcoming. Um, but the, the thing about it was when I got in the cage and Bruce was announcing, I don't know if I have said this, but when they announced her name, it was like an earthquake in the cage. I swear that I just thought the cage was going to crumble in on us. I was like, wow, they really want me to lose. And I think at the moment when she tapped, it was silence. And it was just like, wow, I did that. <laughs> it was kind of, it was kind of. Kind of like one of those things you're never going to forget, right? What, never. What like. I will never forget the feeling of the crowd loud and the crowd absolutely quiet. Mm -hmm. It was kind of eerie. Talk to us a little bit about you know facing someone with a very good ground game and being able to do what you did to her on the ground, mm -hmm. and now going against somebody who's who's known for something completely opposite of that. Well, the thing is, when you get into mixed martial arts, you have to expect that you're going to not only get a ground person, you're going to get a wrestler, mm -hmm. you're going to get a stand-up person. So you have to be prepared for everything, and that's what my camp and I have done a good job at doing is preparing myself for any part of the game, no matter if it's standing, if I can't get it to the ground, just keep it standing. If I am on the ground, be prepared for bad positions, good positions, whatever. That's exactly what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that there are more eyes on me. I hope um, that I'm, I'm making an impact, not only for, for my team, but for myself. You know, that's what the plan was. The plan is to keep moving up. And moving up is gonna come with a lot of obstacles and a lot of cameras and microphones.